You can actually control and own your money. You can actually have your money, right? You don't, you, how else are you going to have it? In cash? And then you got to deal with the inflation? How difficult is it to move serious cash? I'm, I had to send, it's about four years ago, I sent $900,000 to Qatar for a completely legal reason. Why? I had to buy one to buy a property in Qatar. So I was involved in the purchasing of a property in Qatar. Do you believe the backflips, the paperwork, the legal nightmare? I swear to God, I was putting a travel list because for about a year after that, I was stopped at every airport just, just for a bank transfer, right? No problem with Bitcoin. No problem. So it fixes a whole bunch of problems, cryptocurrencies. It certainly does. And I think a lot of people who are forward thinking and believe the things I believe in, it's the only logical conclusion. What else are you going to do? Trust a bank? Will you trust them? There's, there's nothing else to do with it. I'm actually at the point where, although I, don't, I do own a, quite a lot of property, I don't want any more. And I keep getting offered nice property deals. And Tristan's like, should we buy this? It's like, no, I don't even trust the Romanian government or the Russian government. I have property in Moscow. I don't even trust the government anymore. I don't even want a property because if I piss the government off, they're just going to take it. I don't own it. They say you own it until you annoy the government, then you don't own it, right? So I don't even want property anymore. I'm going full crazy Mr. Blockchain now because it's the only time I feel like I have control over things. And we're losing control at such a rapid rate. I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve. I don't believe people saying, oh, I'll just... Buy a house and it's my little house. It's not your little house. You'll see how quickly they'll take your little house from you. Look what they've done so far. They've taken your business from you. You think they won't take your little house? People are, people are not scared enough of the right things. They're scared of Corona. They should be scared of what the government did to them in the name of Corona. That's what they should be. But people aren't logical. People aren't logical. People have low IQs. They're slaves. And they're too busy, preoccupied with racism and all this other garbage to keep them split so they can't all get together for five seconds and start thinking, wait, this is bullshit. Do you remember the big Bitcoin crash, $5,400 at the beginning of this Corona thing? I mean, it really, really tanked. And everyone's saying, it's over, all this crap. I put a tweet up that I still retweet to this day saying, you're all pussies. Bitcoin's coming back. I think I said, I'm buying $600,000 today and you'll, we can talk when it's a 8000 I think I said that. So I've turned six hundred grand to like $12 million. Because I, I, I had cash in a bank and when everything hit the fan, the first thing I thought was, I don't want cash. I want something else. Give me an asset. Okay, well, how can I get an asset that the government... 